Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Daily Stock Report, brought to you by QualityStocks.net, where performance is tracked daily. I'm your host, Jen Hoffman, and for Tuesday, April 22nd, we're bringing you the latest news from around the market. Today's headline news are brought to you by Sky Postal Inc. Sky Postal Inc. is an international mail distribution company focused on delivering commercial mail and periodicals into the Latin American Caribbean region. The company is one of the leading private mail networks in Latin America and handles mail from European postal administrators and major publishers. Let's get into the headline news for Monday. If the 77% drop in Bank of America's first quarter earnings is any indication, the economy may have a long way to go before it works out the subprime mortgage crisis. Rising gasoline prices tighten the squeeze on drivers, jumping for the first time to an average of $3.50 a gallon. There's just no sign of relief. Crude oil set a record for the sixth day in a row, this time after closing above $117 a barrel, barrel after an attack on Japanese oil tanker in the Middle East rattled investors. The markets open up this morning with the Dow is down 24.34 or 0.19 percent, the Nasdaq is up 5.7 or 0.21 percent, and the S&P 500 is down 2.16 or 0.16 percent. And now let's take a look at the small cap news quality stocks is tracking. Small cap headlines are brought to you by Hybrid Technologies, Inc. Hybrid Technologies, Inc. is committed to using its resources for the development and marketing of lithium-powered vehicles and products, as well as commercial and residential properties. The company has successfully converted scooters, bicycles, mopeds, motorcycles, cars, and even homes into zero-emission products. The QualityStocks.net daily newsletter would like to highlight Blue Fire Ethanol Fuels, Inc. as one to watch, up 4%, over 40,000 shares traded. Blue Fire Ethanol Fuels, Inc. has engaged Rosalind Associates, Inc. and PAC to begin prefabricating modules for Blue Fire's first ethanol biorefinery in Lancaster, California. The Lancaster biorefinery is distinctly different from the concept used at the Los Angeles County Production Facility. NYMOX Pharmaceutical Corporation is up 1%, over 56,000 shares traded. NYMOX Corporation has continued to successfully expand its broad worldwide patent portfolio in support of its proprietary product development programs. The company offers investors an update regarding its U.S. Phase II study of proprietary drug NX1207 for the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia. Actiga Corporation is up 10% with over 300,000 shares traded. Actiga Corporation is a leading pioneer in active gaming and full motion video games. They just announced plans to unveil its next generation fun fitness controller with a price point geared for the mass market and distribution is set for during the second half of 2008. And that's our newsmaker. Stay tuned right here to the Quality Stocks Daily Newsletter for the latest news from small cap to large cap and, of course, everything in between by qualitystocks.net where performance is tracked daily. Also, as always, please be sure to see our disclaimer on the qualitystocks.net site. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Jen Hoffman. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the Quality Stocks Daily Report.